Yeah. You look digitized, but you, you'll be you might get better when we get going. All right. Um, we're here for five. <laughs> we finally tabulated everything. This is uh, Steve Harrow. I'm here with Dan Young, one of our uh, automotive instructors, and uh, we're in our garages. We don't have as good of uh, reception, so hopefully everything works out. Um, thanks, first of all, everyone for entering your vehicles in the 2020 um, METC Virtual Campus Car Show. Um, I don't know about you, Dan, but pretty amazing vehicles. And Dan's digitized, and I'm not hearing him. You out there, Dan? Yeah, you're, you were cutting out a little. I think my connection's bad, but I think it was a great turnout uh, for first time doing this. Nothing beats doing it in person, but uh, we try to make try to make do with what we had. Okay, um, I'll let you know if you cut in and out. I don't have you very well right now. Um, it looks like I'm coming in clear. You might have to do a you know, move closer to the house or something. But I'm going to start out with um, right. some of them I have. Why why Dan's going to move a little bit? So um, I've got. I'm going to go with, um, sorry about that, you guys. I'm going to go with the first category that I have, which is modern Asian, um, 1995 to present. And that was a uh, 2018 WRX. Ben Walters is the owner of that. And so that's in the modern Asian category. The modern Europe category was an Audi S3. 2015, um, A.A. Kaliski was on that winner. And um, sticking with the modern, the um, modern muscle, 98 to present, was, um, uh, their, their tag name was <laughs> Muscle Car, M-S-C-L-K-A-R, 2018 Dodge Hellcat by Jeff. Um, Interestingly enough, there was a big category. We had 15 of them in there, and four cars were within five boats. So um, that was the, uh, again, the uh, modern Asian was the uh, 2018 WRX, Ben Walters. The modern Europe, the uh, Audi S3, A. Kaliski, and modern muscle um, was Jeff's uh, 2018 Dodge Hellcat. And just so everybody knows, we'll send emails out to all the winners. But we're also going to post these on the website once we get through. So, Dan, you want to do a couple? Sure. I'll start with uh, getting some feedback there. Uh, I'll start with antique um, 1948 and older. Uh, so we're looking at basically pre-World War II styled vehicles here. Uh, the winner is... The name of the vehicle was Parcel Truck. It's a 1948 Ford panel truck. Um, I actually don't have the owner's name handy here. Oh, I've got Brad Carr on that one. Um, so congratulations, nice truck. I wanna give an honorable mention in that category. There was a, a 44 two-door sedan that looked to be like all original or maybe a real um, very old repaint, but uh, great, great car, awesome, good job. Um, next one I'll do, we've got classic. So this is a stock vehicle um, or stock appearing 1949 to 1969. Uh, that goes to a 57 T-Bird. Um, the username was JTLLK. So nice car um, and look for us to send you an email on that. Congratulations. Um, next category, we've got classic 1970s through the 1990s. That goes to an 87 Grand National. Um, looks like it's owned by Bill, Kyle, and family. So a uh, really cool car. I, I love G-Bodies. My first car was an 83 Cutlass Supreme. I was talking about that with Steve earlier. And there was some there was some other cool um, G-Body Cutlasses and stuff in that category too. So awesome cars. Um, what else do we got? I think I've got most of the older cars and Steve has most of the newer ones. Um, next category, we'll do 
Classic muscle car, always lots of competition in that category. So this is 64 to 72. So the kind of early muscle cars, right? Um, up until the smog thing started happening and they gutted the power out of our cars. Uh, anyway, that one goes to a 1968 Camaro RS SS owned by Mandy Zada, I believe is how you pronounce the last name. So a really nice car. Um, Got the most votes in the category. There was pretty good competition, though. From there was another couple of uh, Camaros, I think, that were right on, right behind it in voting. So, always a close competition in in those categories at, at car shows. Um, next, we've got the Corvette category. Um, the winner is the '67 Corvette Stingray. It was white, had a big block hood on it, um, with a with a hard top owned by Donato, it looks like. So um, really neat cars. It's, uh, when, I, when I was a kid, my dad had a 67 um, convertible. It was Marina Blue 327 with a four-speed. And uh, I think because of that car, I, I became an auto mechanic and now, and now an automotive instructor. So um, that's what kind of lit the fire for me. So I, I've, always had a, uh, I've always had an affinity for those year of Corvettes. So anyway, um, and I got the most votes. So congratulations. What else do we got? This category didn't have a lot of entrance, but customs, 64 and older. Um, the winner actually went to a 63 Pontiac Le Mans, uh, set up like a drag car. I think it had a 421 and all kinds of stuff. And I think it was a race car for, um, for a long time going back. So pretty cool, uh, awesome car owned by D. Smith. Again, look out for your emails, and we'll uh, we'll be getting a hold of you. Okay. Um, hot rods. So this category was for any and all hot rods, street rods, uh, that type of thing. Some of my favorite cars out there. Um, the winner was a '37 Chevy Coupe. I believe it had no hood, big engine in it. I think um, pretty cool stuff. Owned by Rich and Zora. Congratulations, nice car. There was another 37 Chevy in that category that was yellow. That was also really cool too. So honorable mention there, nice cars. Um, one more, two more categories I've got and then we'll hand it over to Steve here. Um, we got customs 65 through 99. So we're looking at cars that are not in the, not muscle cars for this category here. Um, so the, the highest vote getter for customs, 65 to 99, was a 1967 uh, Chevy Impala, okay, owned by Chad. Really neat car. Um, don't see him all the time. Uh, and that car looked like it um, looked like it had some bigger tires and stuff on it. So maybe it's packing something under the hood. I don't remember. But uh, anyway, really cool car. Congratulations, Chad. Um, the next category that I've got here is MATC the, the Hot Rod Club or Hot Rod Crew students and alumni. So we've got um, a 2001 Opel wagon coming from uh, coming from Germany, owned by Witka Engelhardt. Um, that's something you don't see over here in the States. So really <laughs> Yeah, um, Dan, just so you know, um, I might be messing up your mic there, but uh, we have a German exchange student or Ju German exchange school uh, called Theodore Litschuli, and they are all members of the Hot Rod crew because they come over and see us every year. So that's why they're in the METC and uh, Hot Rod crew section. But we're also going to give one um, to our students, um, and that's going to go to uh, uh, Isaiah with his 99 Prelude. So Isaiah with the 99 Prelude. So we kind of split up that section, the invasion of the German cars. And uh, because we had four or five uh, entries from Germany, all from our, our, our sister school. And then we'll also give out the award to uh, one of our students. So that uh, we split that category a little bit. So that was cool. Any more, Dano? Nope. Uh, but yeah, shout out to the German students. I get you to hang out with them. Uh, 
usually um, one one day during the week that they're here, they're in our classes. Um, and yeah, good job, Isaiah. Keep that car so clean. Got, looking good. We've got some um, some newer stuff here. We've got modified motorcycles. Um, this was one of our first entrances into our show. I think it was probably the fifth or sixth of, of anything that came in. It's uh, called Snowbird, a 2004 Suzuki. Is it Hayabusa? I'm not Hayabusa. H A H A Y A B U. I think it's S. No, that's that's a Hayabusa, Steve. Yep. Hayabusa. I couldn't even read my own writing. Um, and uh, 2004. It's Rocky Harrison. So very very cool bike. Um, and then um, it's good sometimes to have a strange category like. Um, well, we had motorcycle all years, and we did have a few entrances in there, but this one also came from Europe. It was an Italian bike. Um, uh, I can't even figure out what my writing is. Again, it's like an MV Agusta Butali 800RZ. It's by Maritz Roda, or Rada, a very, very cool bike. So, uh, so the Germans are coming in and uh, taking over our show here. They've won twice already, so we're going to have to – we're going to have to go and uh, raid their uh, classic show. So they, they're very good, though. Uh, Maritz, I remember, nice nice young man. I remember talking to him last year when he came over. Um, next, we have the um, – we actually have two truck categories, and I think next year we got to divide that up a little bit better. We had a whole lot of truck entrances. And uh, so we ended up um, splitting them a little bit because we had a classic truck section 70 or older – and we didn't have anybody in that one, and everybody went in the open. So we actually divided them up, and it turns out that the two highest vote getters in open trucks will will just split them up, and we'll give one to the older one, one to the newer one. Um, in the uh, the newer one, really really cool '94 Chevy K1500 truck uh, called Money Pit, and it wasn't even the only Money Pit that we had in our show, which is kind of cool. Evidently, that's a trend, um, and that's Kyle. So uh, Kyle won that, and again, we're going to send an email out to all the winners to make sure that they, they know um, it's them. And then this is actually a really, really cool vehicle. Um, one of the higher vote getters was, for the classic 70 and older, the 1965 O'Connell line. It's called an Econosaurus. If you haven't seen that truck, go back in and check that out. Joe Spitz is the owner. Joe used to be an instructor. He was a retired guy now. He actually took an O'Connell line uh, – a pickup truck and uh, took the engine out of the middle, flipped it, put the front, essentially the uh, guts out of a Taurus and the drivetrain out of a Taurus and it does rear steer and all kinds of crazy things. So go check that video out. He did a really, really cool video on that vehicle and uh, got a lot of votes for it. So congratulations to uh, Joe and Kyle in the truck area. Um, we've got vintage Asian and, um, the vintage Asian category was a 90, 91 uh, uh, Acura NSX, and they didn't really have a name down, but we'll find out who this is. I think it's MJO, but uh, we don't. So I don't have a name. But the ninety one uh, NSX Acura won that. Um, the the vintage European um, super high vote getter. You know, I don't know. Some of these young guys know how to work their social media here, but uh, ninety two Volkswagen. VR6 Corrado, never heard of it. Um, street name is A Money, but we know him by Alex. So um, Alex won that. Um, awesome job there. And um, I think that is all I have, Dan. Now, um, just so that you know, we will publish these. We're going to get them all in writing and put them on. Are we missing some, Dan? Did I miss a page? You're giving me that look. Like, we don't want uh, to I, I, thought of, I thought of a few, but I think you already said them, like modern muscle car. You said that at the start. Yep, I did modern muscle. If you just want to go back, I'll go back through my, my list. Um, the modern Asian performance was a 2018 WRX. Modern Europe was the uh, Audi S3. Modern muscle was the 2018 Hel Dodge Hellcat. Um, then the modern motorcycle, the Snowbird. The open motorcycle was the Italian bike by, that Moritz brought. The, the two truck categories were uh, the Econosaurus and the uh, Money Pit. 
a 94 Chevy K1500 in the Econo line. And then the uh, 91 um, NSX was the vintage Asian, the vintage European, the 92 Volkswagen VR6 Corrado, which I'm going to have to look that one up. And then, um, and that was it for me. So also, there was some folks that I had started to do some drawings earlier in the week. Um, we were doing random drawings for prizes as well. I marked some of them. We have all the entrances marked by day. So each time we know how to do it, we were just so busy last night trying to get through the, uh, making sure that all this worked, that I have some more prizes to draw for. So I'm gonna be sending out emails for the prizes too, because we promised a random prize every single day. So we got a few more to draw for. But I did announce um, earlier um, in one of the videos that we're gonna be uh, putting together, we haven't got them done yet, the dash plaques for the show. So anybody that's gonna want a dash plaque, we're gonna be sending emails out. If you're interested, you can email us back and uh, we'll send you a dash plaque. And uh, hopefully we'll get some shirts and stuff done too. So just a great show. Uh, thanks everybody for coming. Dan, thanks for doing all that you do. Scott is on the phone, I think. Scotty in there somewhere? He's he's napping or something. It's, he's, he's, yes. he's got there he is, yes. there he is. I'm here. <laughs> He's out in his backyard looking down at us. So, hey, thanks a lot, Scott, for everything you do. Um, one more time, you guys. take a pitch for our for our programs. We got one-year technical diplomas in automotive maintenance tech. We've got them at the Oak Creek campus, and we'll be holding one downtown as well. We've got the two-year associate degree programs in Ford and Chrysler. We've got our diesel tech program, a one-year program um, at Oak Creek, and we've got our body shop program as well. Um, at Oak Creek, and uh, well, heck, we'll even talk in our toss in our aviation and truck driving. So, um, lots of programs, lots of good things going on in MATC, and I thank everybody for participating. And one more time, thank our sponsors, Peak and uh, West Bend Dino, um, heck, Tony Fape uh, PR, and and and, uh, and our friend Kale Ginn. Um, I can't say enough about Kale; just amazing guy. He's the one that put all this technology together. In, in a super short period of time. So thanks to Kale as well. So everybody, um, next year, I don't have the exact date, but it's this weekend. We hope to see you all live at the Oak Creek campus. And then we're also gonna have the online show as well. So thanks everybody. <laughs>